When stories of Kilimanjaro first reach Europe, few really believe there was snow so close to the equator. 160 years on, and now the world can't believe it's about to disappear. The United Nations says that less rainfall and higher temperatures mean it could be gone in just 10 years. And it's not just the cap that's under threat. The rainwater flows into rivers, which in turn feed this vast network of canals that are sustaining communities and farms. It's an ingenious system that's lasted centuries. But if the water's journey down the mountain is brought to an end, it could have dire consequences. The Chaga tribe use a series of canals and diversions to keep their farms irrigated, but already their dams are running dry. And this on a mountain that supports a million people. When it dries, we don't get any water for irrigation. So the bananas, the vegetables, and even our animals don't get enough water. And it's not just tough for humans. Kilimanjaro's rivers sustain some of Earth's most colorful ecosystems. Makua Farm brings people and wildlife together. It is both a hotel and a vet. But they say water could come between man and animal. Well, it is to expect that there will be few, fewer water resources. Therefore, people will need more land for the crops. Um, and therefore, they will have to take the land from the animals because they will encroach the, the animals' habitats. The wildlife, the, the wildlife will be disturbed a lot. So that will be an additional problem to the already existing wildlife-human conflicts anyways. And the ice is not only important locally, it is an asset to the country. This image adorns water, beer, coffee, and is part of brand Tanzania. The capes of Mount Kilimanjaro, you know, helps uh, to, to bring the tourists from abroad. It is really fun to have such a mountain within the equator and uh, come here to see as a pride of Tanzania, you know. So it will affect the whole life of people, it will affect tourism, it will affect wildlife, it will affect individuals. Scientists argue over whether deforestation or climate change is the main cause. But either way, 85% of the cap has melted in the last 100 years. And while it may be the clouds, the ice and the streams that are disappearing, it will be life on the ground that will feel it the most. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Tanzania.